Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the workshop. It is fantastic to have you here because all around the world right now, there are over 70 knife makers gearing up for a challenge like no other. In just a few moments, a worldwide 48 hour dagger build off is commencing and it's organized by my good friend and fantastically crazy, incredibly inspiring South African beast of a man that is Niels Vandenberg. The rules are simple. One author, one dagger, 48 hours. This is gonna be quite the challenge because I'm a notoriously slow worker. This video is sponsored by NordVPN. Get your internet experience protected by going to nordvpn.com forward slash forge. So, we're gonna start on the design and hopefully by the time I've got something acceptable, the time will be upon us and the 48 hours will begin. Kind of feeling something a little bit geometrical, you know, something a little modern looking. Let's infuse old shapes and and uh, old proportions with some funky angles. All right, our 48 hours starts now. 12 in the afternoon. Here's the design. We're gonna light the forge. While the forge is heating up, we're then gonna start working on the handle. So I don't quite know what I wanna use for handle material. We got this Gigi, this, which is like a G10 type of composite. So let's see what happens when we grind this. It actually looks quite nice with some oil on it. Juma, it is. We are almost one hour in. We've done some lathe work, we've done some forging, we're gonna twist up this Damascus. And if it wasn't for the fact that I will need to sleep, and I will need to poop, I would have 47 hours remaining. So there we go, we forged out some of the scrap Damascus we had laying down. It was within the rules, you could do that. We twisted it, we forged ourselves a blade. Here is uh, what our Juma is looking like, and part of this challenge, part of the competition, is that we update the Facebook group with the progress we make. So there's a photo. Ta-da! Already done a few normalizing cycles on it, but I really want to see if I can get the tang as soft as possible. So we'll do another one of those. And now this is gonna go to the milling machine. If you have a look at my beautiful draw, well, if you have a look at my acceptable drawing here, you'll see that we have some holes. Now, something I wanna do is I wanna have these holes go the whole way through, and I wanna see the tang in the inside. And I think part of the theme of this project is it's going to be very holy. I think it's kinda cool. Ultimately, life is about doing little bits and bobs that you think is a little cooler than the other bits and bobs you could have done. So this needs a number of different size holes. And before we turn down the tapers that we need, I'm gonna put them in so that it's all parallel and easy to do with some V-blocks. I got the hole for the tang bored down the center of the handle. Can I just say, having a battery powered fan, this is one of the best tools I have bought this entire year. Anyway, so with that board, we've now got to work out what are the diameters that we're turning. I'm gonna turn this into a round bar that's a little bit proud, and then we're going to grind it octagonal. If I wanna grind this into an octagon, I need to work out what 
circle do we have to make for an inscribed octagon to fit within? I definitely do not have time for this. So I've now calculated the angles that we need to use to cut these tapers, and we'll just leave it all a little bit proud. That should account for octagonalizing it down the road. Give it a twist, 6.9. Something I have not considered yet in the design of this project is that putting holes in a round tapered uh, thing made of dark wood or synthetic materials might make it look like a recorder. <laughs> it's, maybe it's a musical themed dagger. Le handle has been turned. We do need to make our octagonalizations. That'll be simple enough on the belt grinder. Uh, it's the morning the next day. 20 some odd hours of our 48 hours have passed. Uh, I'm getting a little bit concerned, especially because of what I've been seeing on social media of the other participants of this challenge. So look at this, 700 posts already, hashtag 48 hour dagger build. Some people have blades fully ground, guards carved with incredible detail, utterly wild blade geometry, beautiful fit ups to the handle. And of course the real horror is the amount of progress that the main man himself, Niels, has made because he's been running a milling machine while running a wood lathe. He's got his handle roughed in and it's looking beautiful. And he's already turned a bronze pommel and the beginning of his bronze guard. So we've bloody well got to make some headway. We're running to the grinding room. We're going to start attacking the blade. So now what I'm doing is I'm laying out our blade for the holes. Okay, we are almost a full 24 hours into this and the holes have been done. My next step is rounding out the tang, threading it, then going straight into the heat treat after a little bit of bevel roughing in. Jamie, it does not feel like we're halfway there in terms of progress. Let's get this octagonal. Into the quench. Hopefully it doesn't crack. Those holes might make it crack. Ooh, look at that. That is pretty. Success. Almost 26 hours has gone. The blade is in the tempering oven. We've began roughing in our handle octagons. We will now head to the lathe to begin roughing in our pommel. So this part has two tapers. We've cut our first taper and that's all good. And of course, we're doing these tapers by tilting this compound. And the reason we know the angles we're hitting is it has angles on it. So that's all well and good. We spin this in and out and it cuts the taper. But when we have this all tilted, we end up with a little bit of an access problem because if I wanna cut the taper now, no matter what, I'm gonna be running our tool holder into our chuck. So, what I think I've gotta do is instead of using a right-hand cutter, use a left-hand cutter and actually plop it 
into this side of the tool holding setup. Our blade should be done baking. Oh, isn't that just glorious? Look at the color of it too. Beautiful little purple temper colors on it. The pattern that we are gonna see on this bad mama jamma uh, will be how they say something else. That is outrageous. Just so that we don't pick up any uh, unnecessary warps while it cools out of its tempering temperature, we'll shove her in the vise. So next up, I'm going to try and octagonalize this bit. It's gonna be really difficult because we have that little step and that lip. So I don't know how we're gonna do it other than very gingerly and very carefully at the grinder and presumably at the files. <laughs> Let's make some progress on this and grind in the tip. All right, hot off the grinder at an A65 Trizact finish. We've ground our bevels. So we're about 30 hours into this whole thing. It's 6 p.m. We obviously haven't been working for 30 straight hours. I just took a few minutes to sit down and rest and recuperate. And I've also been able to have a look on Instagram and see the progress others are making. Niels is just cruising on ahead. And now I haven't even started on our final component, and that's the guard. Everything else is roughed in. You know, meaning that if we had to have a sudden quick dash to the finish line, everything else would be able to sort it out pretty quick. But without a guard, that's not gonna happen. So, I'm gonna take this bit of bronze, we're gonna put it in the middle, and we're gonna be making this guard. From the side, it's just gonna be rectangular, but on the other elevation, it will have tapers like this, and we'll continue our whole motif in both axes of the guard. It'll have a facet, hopefully following on from the facets of the octagon at the end of the handle. So to the middle I go again. Quick stop for dinner time. Thank you, Mrs. Steele. I think we've got to go take the dogs to the field. Come on, pupper. Break. Box. I want. Meow. <laughs> Hundred miles an hour. Yeah, 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 yeah. Front. Left. Center. Foot. Alrighty, back to work. So instead of continuing to crack on with the guard, I'm gonna take a little break on that. And the first thing we're gonna do, now we're back from our adventure, is a little hand sanding on the blade. And since it's past 9 p.m., it's evening casuals. It's almost 1 a.m. I've just rigged up a little tube of ferric chloride, and the plan is that we get this thing in the acid. It's gonna be there about 20 minutes or so, and we're gonna have this thing etched before the end of the night, and then, because of the challenge is 12 p.m. Monday to 12 p.m. Wednesday, a total of 48 hours, by the time I wake up, I should have a few more hours to wrap the whole thing up. I'm very worried about how I'm gonna get the guard done in time because guard fit-ups are not my forte. That'll be a problem for tomorrow. Let's drop it in the acid. I cannot believe how nice Niels' dagger is looking. That handle, the pommel, the bloody guard, it looks beautiful. And there's tons more of you guys also building along with us late into the night. It's been about 20 or 30 minutes. I'm gonna pull this out and I go get a little bit of sleep 
and see you in a few hours where we hopefully finish it. Good morning. We're 45 hours and 20 minutes in. That means two and a half hours left to go. I've had breakfast, I've fed the dogs. I slept like crap, but it's back to work for you. I'm just trying to set up the mill to start milling this guard. And I've now spent five minutes trying to look for the guard because I have lost the guard and I have zero idea where it is. It's a little bit of shiny bronze. How can, how can something so shiny just disappear? I have an hour and a half left or so. Where did I leave the guard? It's just silly. Oh! <laughs> it's in the drawer that I've checked about four or five times. This needs a tang hole, it needs holes, it needs more holes. And I need about four days more time. Let's see what time's looking like. Ah! 56 minutes left. So I've got less than an hour to fit up the guard, finish the handle, and fit up the pommel with it all lining up square. Okay, a matter of urgency is I need to get this handle fitting on that tang, and there's still a good bit to go. I got 20 minutes left. Come on, why won't it go in? Ah, yes! Come on, it's freaking stuck now. There we go. No, it still needs to go further. Oh, it's gonna bloody happen! The handle is on, nine and a half minutes left. Okie doke, cut this off. Come on, come on, come on, where'd the pommel go? If I get lucky, it's gonna line up perfectly. That's a shock. That's what I wanted. I want these holes lining up with these holes. Sometimes you just get lucky. Get this tape off and we're gonna sharpen the blade as fast as we can. Seven minutes left. Not good enough. It's not good enough. I need a sharper belt. We've got four minutes. On to buffing. Final coat of oil. And that is my 48 hour dagger. Overall, I'm thrilled with this and so appreciative of Neil's putting on this event. You gotta check out the gorgeous blade that he made. Utterly unreal. He made that in just 48 hours. And there are tons of finished pieces rolling in from all over the world. That was a good time. NordVPN has sponsored this video. Now while you're browsing the internet, you're vulnerable to data compromise from hackers ready to steal your identity. It's terrifying. But never fear, because NordVPN is here with the layer of protection and encryption that you need to keep you safe. Even under sustained attack, you can browse the web with no fear, knowing your data is safe. It works like this. You download an app on iOS, Android, Mac, and PC, and then all of your internet data is routed through it, encrypting it, sending it through to one of 5,400 servers in over 59 countries, encrypted and safe and secure. Meaning that your internet service provider or your country can't spy on what it is that you're browsing. Hackers will find encrypted mumbo jumbo they can't make sense of, and you have the freedom to choose what internet you experience. Simply log into the app and intuitively Select the place you'd rather the websites you browse think you're browsing from. They've got a strict no logs policy. They're not collecting your data. They're not storing it. They're not selling it. And they've got a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you don't like it, no questions asked, they'll make it right for you. You can get yourself a whopping discount off a two year plan as well as an additional four months of internet protection for free by going to nordvpn.com forward slash forge. Thank you to Nord for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys for checking them out. See you all soon. Bye bye.